In this video, we are crafting entire structures right from the crafting table. From mansions to castles to boats, anything we can think about, we can craft. But before we dive in, check out these stats. Guys, if you're not subscribed, go click that subscribe button, join the team. And while you're on the way down there, hit that like button, leave a comment on your favorite structure that we crafted, because together we can take down the YouTube algorithm. The first castle that we are crafting today is actually Aladdin's castle, which is a, uh, is that a Disney or Pixar? Does Disney own Pixar? I think that's Apple. Besides the point, if you guys like the movie Aladdin, click that like button down below. We are crafting the castle with red <laughs> red sandstone wall on the top side. And then we have the sandstone leaving a space for the iron door down below. And look at that, Aladdin's castle. Let's pull this down. I am so eager to see what these things look like because I have no idea what to expect with these castles. We've done houses, we've done mansions, we've even crafted portals, but we've got castles now. This thing should set off as soon as we set it down. So get prepared. Here we go, three, two, one, set it down. Oh, look at that. It's like shaking. Oh, that's so sweet. Almost like it's unfolding. Okay, it has, oh my gosh. What? I am so blown away right now. No way. This thing is huge. We have Aladdin's castle. Look at the back up there. This is gonna be so sweet. Inside the castle, we have this super sweet entrance and kind of a pathway here with stuffed palm trees on either side, bamboo growing. A very, very, very sweet looking castle. And then the main part, this looks like the courtyard back here, guys. This is where you could hang out, sip some tea, relax, kick your feet up, enjoy a splash in the water if you want. But if you come into the back, this is where the magic happens. Oh, there's a villager over here. Wait, no, that's not a villager. That's Jasmine. Jasmine is in the castle. Wait, Jasmine kind of sounds like a man. Hey, Jasmine. <laughs> She's just so dissatisfied. You can leave the castle anytime you want, Jasmine. Don't hang out in here if you don't want to. Let's leave Jasmine alone, or it looks like this is her closet here, but let's not go through her stuff. Head over this way and upstairs, a sweet view spot from the top of this castle. Jasmine has a sweet bedroom and a massive king size bed. Over on the other side, this is the second bedroom though. Hold on a second, guys. Caution, do not use indoors. Magic carpet. This is a magic carpet room. Let's grab one of these magic carpets and my, oh, this thing looks so good. It said don't use indoors though. We gotta go outside. Take this magic carpet outside and place this thing down and it's right there. Woo, I'm a little nervous to jump on. Let's ride it though. Okay, okay, oh, careful. This thing is very fast. Look at us fly around the magic carpet. Oh my gosh. I think, it, okay, it goes whichever direction we're facing. So we've got to be very careful not to fly this thing into the floor, but we can cruise the magic carpet all the way around the castle. Look at this thing. And we've got lots of them. The question is, can we land it on top? Perfect landing right on top of the castle. Aladdin's castle, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up to start out with. You might be able to guess by the block inside my hand right now or being held by my hand. It's on the outside, I'm just holding, um, you guys get it. This is going to be a golden castle. The golden castle is crafted similar to Aladdin's castle. We need gold nuggets across the top and we use a block of gold all around and leave space again for the iron door in the center and that gives us the gold castle. Now, the main question I have with these things is these take up a lot of space. We're going to have to go very far away from Aladdin's castle and place down the gold castle on this side with enough room so that it doesn't interfere with Aladdin's castle. I think this is enough space though, so let's give it a shot. My guess is that the gold castle isn't as big as Aladdin's castle because he's kind of a prince with, with a princess. You need a huge castle for that, but this one is going to be more expensive for sure. Like, this thing down. I love this effect that happens as these castles unfold. I'm so excited for this castle, actually, guys. Watch out, sheep. Don't get in the way. No, you're... Oh, the sheep might go down from the castle. Boom. And 
we did. We did it perfectly. They didn't interfere with each other. We probably could have gone a little to the right to conserve our real estate here because uh, we're going to run out of space very quickly. But look at this gold castle, guys. It looks like there's some watchtowers in the side there. I wonder if we can get into those. Inside the castle, armor all around. The diamond armor on all sides of the hallways. Over on the right-hand side, though, oh, it looks like there isn't a way into that watchtower up on top. But this cruises all the way around to the backside. Stay in the center here. Our sheep didn't die. Look at him. He's still, he's hanging out inside the castle now. Dude, we just upgraded your home so fat, buddy. Rooms on all sides. Looks like rooms of knowledge. You got all the horse armor in the, in the paintings. Very expensive paintings. This room got gypped though. No painting in this room. Sorry to whoever has to sleep in this room. Mr. Sheep found a room of his own that he's going to be staying in. And then we also have at the end of a hall, the hallway, this ladder that goes up. What is up above? Oh, we've got a room of expensive paintings. This one is $240,000. Wait, no, I've been, definitely had my hands on that a few times. You're telling me I could have sold that painting and every time I wasted it? This one over here, only $100,000. It's half the size for half the price, a little less than half the price. $569 thousand dollars 1.5 million dollars this this room is so expensive Hundred fifty thousand here and a hundred thousand over here very very luxurious paintings based on this room alone it's difficult for me to tell whether i like aladdin's castle more than the gold castle or if i'm just attracted to the riches there is one other side of this gold castle, though, for us to explore on this side. Oh, gosh. We got bedrooms on either side. I have a good feeling that there's going to be more wealthy paintings on this side of the castle. Oh, uh-huh. Okay. This one is also $1.5 million. The third castle that we're crafting is one that I'm most excited for of all of these castles. We just need white stained glass, snow block, and an iron door in the same fashion as usual here, guys. Nothing different, nothing crazy, but we get ourselves the cloud castle. Now I'm super excited about this cloud castle because obviously I'm assuming it's going to be in the clouds, which makes our entrance, it must be different than the last two. Make our way on the other side of the golden castle here though. And we are running out of space, laterally speaking, but let's place this thing down right here. Make a room for it and put this thing. I am so curious to see how this is going to look right now, guys. Also, if you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button right now for the Cloud Castle. We're about to take this thing into the skies. Oh, I froze. Oh, I didn't freeze. Wait, what? Wait a second. Oh my gosh. Guys, our castle's up there. How do we get up? I'm standing on the platform. What if I... Oh, if I jump on the platform, it takes me straight up. We're going up into the cloud castle right now. We just got the great view from up here award and straight up into the castle. And we just float down. We've got a beautiful rainbow bridge that enters us into the cloud castle. Look at this thing and look how high up we are. There's Aladdin's castle and the gold castle you could hardly see down below through that cloud. We are so far in the sky. Definitely don't want to fall off right now. A castle in the skies. More bedrooms. What is this? Like cloud stairs that lead to the outside here to walk around. Oh, I love the layout of this castle. So this carries us all the way around the outside so we can get view from all sides. What do we do to get in there? Is there an entrance in there? It's gotta be down in the center of the cloud castle. Oh, it's another floating platform. Straight up into the bedroom. I love that mechanic so much. Okay, the only thing you would have to do is hide the entrance, the floating entrance somewhere at the bottom and people would have no idea how they get up into your castle. Inside the bedroom, our chest is empty. Definitely need to go grab some of the supplies from the gold castle and bring it up into the cloud castle where they will be more secure up above the clouds. Over in this room, what is this? Oxygen recycler? There's an abundance of clean air high in the atmosphere. This chamber collects the good oxygen for many uses. Look at this oxygen recycler using the air quality up here to be able to create more purified oxygen. A bedroom in the back here. I think this bedroom is connected to the oxygen purifier. You sit in this bed and your oxygen is so clean from the chambers on either side that your night's rest is gonna be just flawless all the way through. I don't snore guys, don't judge me. I don't actually snore. There's one more rainbow platform. 
that leads somewhere else though what's over here oh it's a watchtower and we've got a transparent floor below that is so sweet the cloud stairs up to the top of the watchtower oh the view from up here is going to be impeccable guys look at this look at this view from the top of this watchtower we're so far up that it's having a difficult time rendering in all the blocks the mist is covering up everything now the real question is how do you get down from this castle without annihilating yourself back to where we initially came up let's see if it'll bring us back down i'm gonna go into the center and hope that we don't get rocked Yes, it gave us slow fall. Slowly headed back to our crafting table. Okay, I take it back about the gold castle, guys. So far, the cloud castle, definitely my favorite. It is going to be insanely tough for any of these future castles to compete with anything we've had so far, but we do have some good stuff still coming up. This next one is the Egyptian castle and the crafting strategy is a little bit different. We got a sandstone wall up top red sandstone walls on either side right in the middle with three sand blocks and the iron door and that gives us our egyptian castle the egyptian castle oh the structure or the icon for it is a lot smaller than the other three icons both of those look massive in the background though and the cloud castle up in the sky what is this egyptian castle going to be Oh, this is dope. This is so sweet. I, I wonder if we made any, did we, did we break anything in the background? Ooh, we kind of hit our village a little bit. This thing is huge. We've got the sweet cat structures out front, very Egyptian. I don't know what those things are called. If you guys know, let me know in the comment section. There's a specific name for those cats that are like etched out of sandstone. I'm just spitballing here. I have no idea what they're called. I don't even know how to make them. I, I don't know. I, I don't know the process, but inside the Egyptian castle. It's more of a pyramid. We've got snakes on the ground and it's like a treasure room. And we've got to jump on these blocks in order to get to the treasure. I do know this about pyramids. They are created in a way so it's hard to navigate through them and there's secret passages where treasure is hidden or like buried bodies are stored so that looters would not actually be able to get to the treasure and steal it. So this looks like one of those. Now, this is gonna be very embarrassing because I suck at parkour and um, that's what this is but let's see hopefully I can do it I'm getting so nervous right now oh almost almost oh can we get up there oh we did it no oh, where's the treasure we gotta mine it down stealing it we're stealing the treasure these ones come on perfect now we just got to make our way back more treasure on this side I don't want to risk it this time down farther Oh, we've got a bathhouse and look at the bath just smoking. They must be heating the bath somehow from a fire down below. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, water comes in. These platforms pour water into the bath from outside. Is it going to hurt us if we go in? It might be too warm. Ooh, no, it is warm though. I don't know if I want to leave. I'll just sit inside this warm bath all day, but we've still got more pyramid to check out. A cow safely stored inside the pyramid and the bedroom back here. This pyramid, pretty sweet guys. And a storage room. All kinds of bones from buried bodies and hidden treasure. Just like I said, guys, except there's no parkour to get into this storage room. So we probably need to block it off. Let's use the gold blocks to just block off this storage room a little bit there we go now no one will come in and steal our gold we have got two more castles to go folks and the last one is the one that i am most excited for of any so far because i think it's going to contain the most secrets however before we do that we have to craft the dirtiest of them all and we need a spruce slab some vines green terracotta on both sides and podzle and this gives us shrek's castle we're about to go inside the swamp here let's pull this thing down oh it just smells bad in my inventory right now even on the hot bar it's nasty i don't know if this is going to go above ground or if it's going to go below ground let's find out as it unfolds this animation is so sweet to watch shrek's castle it does go it goes into Shrek's swamp. It is literally Shrek's swamp. Okay, we took out a little bit of our gold castle in the back there. Yep, okay, we're definitely running out of space, guys. 
But we've got Shrek Swamp here, though. Let's go see what's the best way down. Carefully, don't damage ourselves. Go down ever so slightly. Shrek, you home? Donkey! And run across the bridge to get into... I forget what Shrek calls this thing. He definitely does not call it his castle. It's just his swamp. Oh, it's so... Wait, guys! There is Donkey! Donkey's here! This is very basic, as I assume, but just like Shrek Swamp is. There's a watchtower up top. We gotta go say hi to Donkey, though. Let's get up top really quick. Uh, I don't think Shrek's Swamp actually has this watchtower. And it also definitely does not have all of that golden armor from that massive golden castle. Or I just said... Do you guys know how many times I get ripped because I call a, a, a skeleton a zombie? Sometime just like in the heat of the moment and in the comments, he really just called the skeleton a zombie. And here I am calling diamond armor gold. All right, I know it's diamond armor. I also know what a skeleton is and what a zombie is. Here he is right here. He's named Donkey. Can we feed him a carrot? Is there any carrots inside? Is there a chest or anything? I ain't got no food for you, Donkey, my bad. The swamp is cool. It smells nasty, but we gotta move on to the best of them all, guys. We gotta get out of here because the last castle we have is Brianna's castle. Crafted with prismarine shards, as well as pink glazed terracotta, and then your iron door as usual. And this is where the secrets unfold. We need to find the maximum space opening for us to launch this so that we don't destroy anything. All of the secrets we could possibly find are gonna be inside this castle right here, guys. Brianna's castle, give us all your secrets. I know you've been holding out on us. We're about to find out everything, guys. And look at it, here we are. Gosh, there's a huge bee at the top. It looks like a Barbie house. This thing is sweet though. A massive throne, really Brianna? Straight at the top, a huge throne for you to sit on? The first room off to the left here is Brianna's bedroom. Wait a second. Okay, this looks like one of those $1.5 million paintings, but this seems very basic. Anything in the chest? There's not much here, guys. This seems like a very simple bedroom. There's a study desk, a, a, a pool of water. I don't know what you do with that in a bedroom, but the second bedroom is Chuckles Room of Cool, and it's a massive room just for Chuckles. Look Look at this bed compared to Brianna's bedroom. This thing is huge. And the sheets are Chuckles themed. Is there anything around the side here? Diamond blocks in Chuckles room. A bath for Chuckles. What about up here? A hole upstairs in Chuckles bedroom. It's a loft for Chuckles. And there's eggs. Ev oh my gosh, Chuckle is laying so many eggs. Is Brianna starting an army? This is an army of Chuckles that she's forming right here. Oh goodness. Okay, we gotta go warn Preston. But before we do, there's one more room that I saw out of the corner of my eye over directly across this room right here. What is this? Husband? Guys, what? Wait, Preston is inside a cage above lava. He just looked at us. Preston, we're coming, we're coming, we're coming. Is there, is there a button? Is there any button? Here, we got a, we got a pickaxe. Bust down this door. Come on, Preston. Don't, don't worry, Preston. We're coming for you, buddy. We're coming for you. Yes, no, no! We're in the middle of the ocean on this little tiny raft that I crafted to be able to keep myself safe because today we are going to be crafting boats from any block. I've got right here block of iron, iron bars, and iron pickaxe. We're not gonna use that. We'll set that over there but just have it on hand just in case. And we're going to use the block of iron like this as the first example and the iron bars in the center. And that gives us our steel boat. Now we can grab the steel boat and head out here into the water. I need a safe distance. Maybe we should get a boat as well. Just a little raft to cruise on. All right, that's a little better. Place this down there. Okay, get out into our raft a little safe distance away. That should be good. Take our steel boat, jump out of here and place the steel boat on the water. Now back up slowly, slowly, slowly. And we can watch the steel boat expand. Oh my gosh. Look at this thing. Oh, okay. I'm stuck. Oh, no, 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 no. Pro tip, the boats 
are much larger than I expected. Look at this thing. It's like a yacht. We almost got stuck inside of it. This is a massive steel yacht. We've got a hot tub on the back of the yacht here. We set it off all the way over there. We almost ran over our raft. Our safety raft almost got crushed. Inside the entrance to the boat, we've got our iron items, iron armor, all sorts of good stuff. We'll grab some stuff just to keep on hand. Maybe some chains to lock this boat down to the ground so it doesn't move around. Over on this side, also some more iron. Looks like the captain's quarters over here or not. This is just the head of the boat. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. This thing is so long. In real life, this boat would cost like a million dollars easily or more. This is the captain's quarters up here. Here we have the compass to direct this boat, though it's such a big compass. You can't really see out the front window, so you might crash into something very easily. There is a downstairs as well, though. What's down here? There's our boat that got crushed. <laughs> we got a little sleeping quarters down here, some more barrels. These ones are empty. Two sleeping quarters for friends and family if you want. And the only other thing we haven't checked at the top of this boat is this ladder that leads up top. Anything up here? Ooh, we have a chest. This is the good view spot. You can even go all the way to the top where you can like set the sails or whatnot up there. Though this thing's a little more modern. I don't think it has sails on it, guys. This is this ain't old fashioned. This is new age 2020 yacht right here. Let's check out the chest. Any iron in the netherite ingot? Okay, netherite ingot and an ancient extractor. What is this thing? It like takes up our hand. What can we do with this? Oh, nope, not that. We don't do that. All right, if we break the boat, even using our ancient extractor, we definitely just get the block that was there. So we need to get over to some new supplies, grab our oak boat, jump into the water. Careful now, careful. This ancient extractor has to be used some way to be able to gather supplies for something. Let's get out of the boat, use our ancient extractor. Okay, we get dirt from that. What about this? There we go! We found it. This is not normal, folks. If we mine with the ancient extractor on the sand, what is it that we're grabbing? Ancient dust. That has to be used to craft our next boat. Head back to the center of the ocean to our crafting table. If we use the ancient dust that we got using our ancient extractor and one oak plank and bamboo on the sides, we get ourselves the ancient boat. We need more space though, and not almost nuke ourselves. Set it down. Okay, now swim far enough away, this time not to get destroyed. Wait for that ancient boat to spawn. The whole model lifting up into the air before it spawns. Oh, oh my gosh. This thing looks like an ancient warship, like a Viking warship. The oars are on the side here. Look, there's skulls from the Vikings that used to ride this ship. It's all overgrown with all kinds of grass and vines and bamboo in the center. This ship looks like it must have been sitting in the ocean for a while. Even behind me, you can see the mast that they used to use to catch the wind and there's holes because it's deteriorating over time. There must be some hidden treasure inside this ship somewhere. Here we go. We can get down like this. There's like bars, like they used to trap prisoners back here inside the warship. There's a skull of one of the prisoners that was locked back here inside the back chest cobwebs just overgrowing these chests everywhere what about the barrels more cobwebs everything is overgrown with cobwebs what about back here oh some armor this must be the warrior bunks back here where they could sleep in the rocky waters it would be tough to sleep when the whole ocean is rocking back and forth but still i guess if you've been rowing all day long then you're gonna be able to fall asleep pretty easily got some armor but still nothing in the barrels I do need some food here pretty soon. Is there any barrel I haven't looked at? For, oh, this one behind the cobweb. I haven't checked. We got steak. It's also overgrown with cobwebs. Is this gonna be some old rotten steak? Please work. My guess is it tastes a little off, but who cares, guys? I'm down for some old steak. I'm always game for some steak of any kind. There is one chest inside the prison down here where there's a dead skull. And here we have box of air and more netherite ingot. We have three of those that we stored up top from the steel boat and we have a box of air. We're gonna have to use that, I'm sure, for the next build. If we use the box of air in the crafting table and surround it with white wool, we get ourselves a cloud boat. Is this thing gonna be on water or is this gonna, it might be floating in the sky. Take it a safe distance away and place our cloud boat down, get a safe distance again. 
Though this thing might be going up into the skies. It may not be on the on the water level here like the last two boats. I have no idea what to expect, but guys, subscribe if you haven't already. It is in the sky. We have got, oh my gosh. You guys gave us good luck with that subscribe button. There is wings, cloud wings off the side of this boat and a whole rainbow mast up on the center of the boat. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Mast, mast, the thing that catches the wind on the boat. And it even has the rudder on the backhand side. I'm guessing we use this chain to climb up inside of it. Climb up this side and then we can jump and we can climb the chain and get over to the entrance. Oh, look at the diamond blocks. Nothing in the barrels or chests, though. We've got diamond blocks there. Eternal air essence. Grab that. Look at this thing in my hand. The eternal air essence. This must be the thing that's keeping the boat in the air. I wonder if we take it out of the boat, if the whole boat will fall down to the ocean. Before we ruin everything, though, and destroy by stealing the air essence, let's check out the top of this boat, where the rainbow mast is. I'm gonna stop saying that because I could be completely wrong and that's not the sail. The rainbow sail. Why did I say anything else? So much easier to say sail. Check out our rainbow sail. We can go out onto the wings of this boat, the cloud wings. It isn't even, it's barely taller than the Viking warship though the ancient warship but it does look pretty sweet and it's controlled from the back here using this looks like a trap door but again you really cannot see you're gonna need someone standing up here at the head to be able to give directions using the cloud boat you may be able to just like fly over everything instead of running into everything like the steel boat and the ancient warship would have to worry about you just be able to go right over the top of everything like that land over there you wouldn't have to worry about it. You'd just be like, yeah, let's take a shortcut over the top of the land. And I love this view spot from the down spot here, from the downstairs, you can see through into the ocean. But most importantly, I wanna see what this eternal air essence does. This may be used to craft a boat that can float even higher than the cloud boat, perhaps. But it isn't eternal cloud, it is eternal air, which is a little suspicious. But the one thing we haven't used yet is the netherite ingots that we picked up from the previous boats. And if we drop the eternal air essence in there, no way a submarine that makes so much sense we have eternal air so we can stay under the water for as long as we want because we don't have to worry about getting fresh air bring this out i cannot wait to test this out place it down okay this one's actually in the water it's not floating above the water like the last couple is it gonna spawn underneath the water it did guys it's under the water you can't even see it we gotta jump out and swim down to it where is the entrance oh is this the entrance right here this thing is so long oh it looks like an airlock and we can go down we're in inside the submarine and we've got an eternal supply of air so we never have to leave unless we want to there's got to be enough entertainment though i don't know how entertaining submarines are this looks like the engine room here that fuel the submarine into the back past the engine room we've got the sleeping quarters everything is dripping though it's a very wet submarine and past the sleeping quarters is a storage room what is this? Oh, this is the engine room. That's the engine right there. And the rudder out the back that we saw from the outside must be on the outside of the submarine there. And this is preventing the water from leaking into the submarine. These barrels also empty, except an expensive blueprint. We picked up the expensive blueprint, but there's no way to read it. But we can see that there's something written on it from the icon. Some sort of secret blueprint that we'll have to use, I'm guessing. There is a whole nother half to this submarine though. We came through the engine room or, or, or through the, the, the fuel room. I don't know where they burn the coal to, to get the submarine going. I think that's like some sort of nuclear reactor. I don't know anything about submarines guys. Okay. But that's, there's, this room is important. It's an important room. On this side, I'm guessing we have the captain's quarters. Let's go back this way. This looks like a cooking quarters maybe. Yep. This is definitely a cooking quarters and through We've got the captain's quarters. Oh, this looks so sweet. The windows to see out into the ocean, which typically I'm certain looks exactly like this most of the time, just kind of empty because most of the time the ocean is empty. I think there's like 400 or 500% more ocean than there is a land in the world, which means when you're in a submarine, most of the time you're probably seeing absolutely nothing. 
instead of looking out and navigating with your eyeballs where to go like a ship above land, you're just gonna be looking at this radar machine and deciding what to do based on the sonar blast that's being sent out from the submarine. That's science, guys. That's exactly how it works inside of a submarine. I have no idea how the submarine get works, guys. No idea. Most importantly though, this expensive blueprint, let's put it to good use. Hop inside of our raft here, open up our crafting table. If we place our expensive blueprint in the center and put oak planks around the side with an oak door, we get ourselves a floating house. I can see why that might be expensive. We can set it off right above the submarine. That's hard to see because it's down there, but we can set it off real nearby. Let's put the floating house down, grab our distance. The moment of truth is upon us. How much will this float? Or maybe it's just floating on the water. It is floating on the water. In cities that are on the water, oftentimes, guys, you have people that have floating houses right along the shoreline sitting on the water that just float and they can just be floating for forever. They just sit there floating on the on the water. And this is using the same material that I've craft, crafted the SS Bari over there. That's what it's named, the SS Bari. Inside the floating house, it looks like a very modest house, not super modern, nothing crazy. They got plenty of water from the ocean to be able to water the plants around the outside. Enter inside and what do we have? A massive TV. When you get bored of the ocean views, you can just sit and watch your favorite TV show right there. Let me know in the comments what you guys would be watching. I like some of those murder mysteries, some stuff that keeps real suspenseful all the way through, but let me know what your guys' favorite shows are. We got a dining table, a massive kitchen, plenty of space for entertaining guests in the kitchen, but no food in the, we, you, got, you gotta, it doesn't matter if you have a kitchen if you've got no food to cook. Okay, we're gonna have to stock this up, guys. There is some big stairs to head upstairs though to a bedroom. Oh, this is sweet. Wait, this isn't the bedroom. There's a study room, another study room. Where's the bedroom at? Oh, here, right here. There's a door. I completely missed it. A bedroom here. It's a very modest, tiny bedroom, but beautiful views on all sides of the ocean. And we have a chest and a crafting table, but nothing in the chest. We didn't inspect upstairs yet though. Always check the chest. Just cause everything was empty in every other space. You never know when you might find something in one of chest. Hidden away, tucked in a corner. You gotta keep consistent, check everything. What? Just like I said, thermal plating? We've got 11 thermal plating from that chest. These chests are both empty. I have never seen this before, but I could understand why this house would have it because it's pretty much entirely made out of wood. And given a total disaster out on the ocean, like a lightning strike, you gotta have the thermal plating to defend yourself against any sort of fiery alarms going off. But I'm guessing we could also use this thermal plating to get the next boat. And we can use the thermal plating just like this. We don't even need all 11, so we can save some for later use. And just red concrete on top of that in the corners. Oh my word. A lava boat? Okay. We, no, 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 I said it, oh, I actually set it off. We are gonna destroy everything. Okay, our SS Bari is gone. We didn't get in the way of the yacht though. Or yes, we did. We definitely took out half the yacht. But this thing is sweet. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. Before we jump onto the thir the lava boat, I wanna see if we can get a view from the top of our yacht. Yes. Oh my gosh. That is a dragon head. There's eyeballs, the whole dragon head spewing lava from its mouth or teeth up there, like fangs of lava. And we have a hot tub, a very warm hot tub, I imagine, at the front of this boat. Okay, let's jump on, let's get onto it. We can climb up the ladder on the side here. I'm hoping it's not too hot on my feet. It's not, we've got the thermal plating everywhere. This is the most relaxing hot tub I think I've ever been in despite the intimidating lava on all sides. But what if we go into the dragon head? Inside the top of the dragon head, we've got red stained glass all the way around. The front of the ship over here, a chest on both sides, but nothing in those. Is this the front of the ship? I think this is the back of the ship, actually. The hot tub is the front of the ship because the dragon head points in the direction it's moving. And I think actually we've got more chains, loads of netherite ingot. Oh my gosh. Okay, definitely valuable. And we've got the chains that we can also climb up here, up to the top here, into the dragon's head with the steering wheel, the compass again. 
It's the steering wheel. I think it's a steering wheel. I love the way that the navigation for this lava ship is looking out of the dragon's mouth. Can we take damage if we touch it? No, it's all safe to touch because of the thermal plating. We don't have to worry about taking any damage. We can see out the back, the flames kind of leading off the back of the boat and driving this ship is looking out of the dragon's mouth so ferociously at everything. Let me know in the comment section, which boat is your guys' favorite boats? Are you with me on the lava ship? Or also, I feel like it's competition between that and the cloud boat just because it's literally floating in the sky and it's got the rainbow sails, not mass, mass, whatever, sails. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And also, click that subscribe button if you haven't already. The first mansion that we are going to be crafting today, guys, is a glass mansion. And the reason I want to start off with the glass is because, well, things could get fragile. So we might as well start off with that. We are going to need four white stained glass. Those are going to go across the bottom and one in the top center. One blue stained glass in the top right. One pink stained glass in the top left. And then the white stained glass pane left and one to the right with, of course, your basic white bed because this thing can't show up through the glass all right is going to give us our glass mansion grab this and throw it down there and we do not have enough space if i say so myself right here which means we gotta get somewhere else so let's go ahead and run as fast as we can guys out of this village right now Ooh, opening glass field i mean grass field over here all right all right all right all right all right let's place down the glass mansion right now and then we just light it and and we gotta run far away. This is a mansion, guys. Run as far as we can. And oh my word. Wait a second. Oh, this is actually totally see-through. Look at this thing, guys. Okay, where's the door at? I guess I should be asking that question because it's glass and we can see. Looks like it's over here. Let's walk in through the door and we get the entryway. Oh, this definitely looks like a mansion. We got the armor stand right here and then we got a second door. You know you're living in a mansion if you have a second door. Open up the second door, both doors go in. We got ourselves a fish tank on this side. And what are these? Oh, the orange stairs? Okay, but before we get ahead of ourselves, check out the downstairs whole yellow glass couch. I honestly feel like glass would not be that comfortable. Let me know in the comment section if you guys disagree, but to be honest, I feel like glass would be a little hard to sit on or sharp if you break it. But we got the TV. We got a room over here, a bedroom. If we go up the orange stairs, then at the top, we have kitchen on. Oh, geez. Okay. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We've got a kitchen on the second floor, which is pretty nice. And we have a second bedroom. Anything in the chest over here? Let's check. <gasps> Guys, that is a lot of bones, all right? Let's just ignore that. I have no idea where those bones came from. And we've got a baby crib over here in a second. We've got a boy crib and a girl crib over here. Two cribs for babies. All right, I'm not ready to be a father yet, so let's just exit out of this house slowly. Bones and babies. Interesting glass mansion. Let's go ahead and just close this behind us and pretend we never saw that. The second house will probably be a little bit less creepy for us to check out. I have got a light blue bed on hand for the second mansion because this thing is going to be insane. We need to put the light blue bed in the center as usual, and we're gonna surround that with the buckets of water, which is going to make sense in a second, guys. I guarantee you. And then block of iron, three of them to place across the bottom and that crafts our water mansion. Now this water mansion is unlike every other mansion you have ever seen, I guarantee it, because this water mansion is literally going to be full of water. All right, I've got some distance away from the glass house right now. We're gonna place the water mansion down and I'm gonna be very, very, very careful. It looks like the front is over here. Clear that grass, get out of my entrance. And we're gonna light this up and we're gonna run because this thing is huge, if I remember correctly. So get away. Way very far. Oh, I leg just now. When I turn around, we're about to see. Oh my gosh. And this thing is not like your regular mansion, guys. Okay, jump inside. We have a water fountain coming down the center that we can actually swim up. And I'm gonna show you why that's important in just a moment. But around the bottom here, you've got your basic meat floating in the center. I think that's just because we accidentally murdered a sheep when we were unloading this thing. Sorry to that sheep. 
We have got the basic water mansion necessities, water buckets, and, and things full of water. But if we go up to the center right now, we can swim to the top of this thing, and you'll be able to notice that we are inside of a water bucket, guys. We've got the handle going across the top right there, and the complete outside of a water bucket right now. And from the top, it looks like this thing is full of water. But when you go down beneath, don't go down anywhere that you're going to fall to your death, but down here is not a bad spot to choose and we've got the inside of the entire water mansion down here and we could of course construct this with more stuff however we want it doesn't have to stay hollow or with the basics here we could put a tv easily we could just easily put this out your guys's favorite was the obsidian tv that we crafted and we can build ourselves an obsidian tv inside of our water mansion which is more like a water bucket mansion i I guess if I think so and technically speaking we are watching TV underwater right now but instead of being underwater what happens if we take to the skies one of my favorite mansions that we're going to be crafting today is called the treehouse mansion which has an obvious name we're going to place oak logs down beneath the bottom side a green bed in the center to match the tree and then oak leaves across the top and we get ourselves a tree mansion TNT. And by TNT, I mean it's going to explode into a literal huge tree, guys. I feel like the most appropriate thing for us to do with this one is place it as close to the forest as possible, but also it's going to be huge as well. So we may need a little bit of distance. Maybe right here though. Let's go ahead and try this, launch it off, run the other way so we don't die. Careful, careful, careful. Turn behind and look at it explode now we just have to find which actual vine we can climb here up here we can climb these vines here and i think this brings us up oh maybe not there's no doorway ice okay we gotta be real careful guys we're gonna find the right vine here in a second around the side here wait okay i found it guys let's jump up here get around here and climb to the top of this treehouse mansion right now it's a very secret entrance i'll say so but once we enter we get ourselves a very safe place of course there's our bed right there the green bed my favorite color by the way a huge ceiling up here and from the outside Honestly, we have a good Ronde viewpoint where we can actually see and if we wanted to line up that bow boom, Fire anything we want at the enemy that's trying to enter this might be the safest place for us to be tonight So I'm gonna leave it up while we craft the rest of the recipes in case we need to run back here The treehouse might be one of my favorite recipes so far But the rest that's still to come is gonna be rivaling that for sure so guys, I definitely died getting out of the tree. All right, but we have our emerald mansion next. We're going to need six blocks of emerald across the top and across the bottom, a lime bed in the center and lime stained glass to the left and to the right and that is going to craft our emerald mansion i have no idea what this looks like so i'm incredibly excited i gotta walk back towards the tree house that just murdered me last time that was deadly and launch this emerald mansion to the left i guess over here let's open it up all right let's place it down right here grab our flint and launch it run make space quickly 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 look back Boom. Oh, this thing is gorgeous. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. We're on the backside right now, though, so we got to go around. And this Emerald Mansion is like a house inside of a mansion. We can go through. There are villagers trading in here, of course, because they love Emerald. And through the front, I don't want to give anybody any idea, so I'm going to go ahead and just switch off of my flint and steel. I'm not lighting anything else explosive while we're inside the house. We have a villager house inside of the Emerald emerald mansion which i feel like is a pretty neat mechanic because it makes point or, or or points fun at the fact that villagers love emeralds frankly they're kind of obsessed with emeralds inside the house we have ourselves a fairly basic house and we're on the second floor and now we can climb up to this lookout point where we can see our arch nemesis the treehouse i will get you next time buddy i will get you next time for now you win though
This is honestly just an emerald mansion that admires the villager house, I feel like. It's like showcasing the villager house because they just love emeralds so much. But it's also a pretty sweet explosive to have on hand. We have three more mansions to build, and this one might be my favorite, or I should say second favorite because the last one is super sweet. But this one is going to be a redstone mansion. We got oak planks in the bottom right and bottom left. We got a redstone lamp lamp in the bottom center. Of course, our red bed is going right in the center. Red bed to match the redstone. Uh, uh, duh. Block of redstone across the top, and you got a redstone torch on the left and on the right, and that is going to- oh, this thing looks gorgeous, guys. Pull out this redstone mansion, and let's go see what this does exactly. Set that down, pull out our flint and steel, light it up, run away, and we have our redstone mansion. And this thing is going to be a little bit confusing guys looking at the front of course you've got no door here there's nothing here on the back side but there's a lever let's press that and the whole wall opens up for us to get inside of and we can get into the door and a hidden lever up on top once we get inside we can press and it closes everything down right now we are hiding inside of a house that literally has zero visible doors, guys. That out there is the second entrance. Of course, there must be a way to get in from that side. Hold on, let's run around the other side because there's a lever that's not really hidden on this side. So maybe there's a lever that's not very hidden on the other side. I don't see anything down here, but maybe above. Oh, there it is. It is above the wood up there. Okay, maybe we could build another route in, but for now, I'm just gonna break this because we can easily see there's a lever up here currently, I think. There it is right there. Press that and we open up and we can pop inside. Do we have another hiding lever on this side too? And of course, inside our mansion, we've got redstone torches and diamond axes and iron chest plates. Oh my gosh, guys, we are hooked up. Oh, and there's a button over here. What does that do? Oh, wait, hold on. Guys, that button brings up a full diamond armor statue pretty pretty neat redstone house to have on hand keep it in your back pocket just in case you got to hide securely neat mechanics i love these hidden uh levers on the outside as well as on the inside super fun to use we are running out of room guys and we still have two more mansions we got to get through the second to last mansion i recommend usually you guys should place against a hillside because outside of a hillside this mansion isn't going to be as effective as it otherwise could be but it is going to be crafted using dirt and coarse dirt and a brown bed and you can place this mansion on the ground light it up run away and wait this thing will explode into a cave mansion now get to the side that it is open from and this is exactly why you want this thing placed against a hillside because outside of a hillside it looks kind of stupid and honestly i don't know why these doors are here because they don't really do anything they're just kind of there just to be there other than that pretty useless so you could really just honestly take these doors down it wouldn't really matter but if you are next to a hill then this provides a pretty pretty sweet cave for you to pop into even though it's somewhat useless and you might get stuck like i just did you can still have a pretty enjoyable experience with what you have here you know actually i'm kind of thinking that noob one two three four might have crafted this thing i was hoping for a second that it wasn't but he's been invading a lot of the stuff that we're doing you know what guys on second thought don't craft this cave mansion by any means whatsoever just leave it to only be seen in this video and never create it yourself and let's just move on to the best recipe of them all our final house requires a drum roll please this is the house i've been more excited for than any of them all guys and this house is preston's house the fire mansion itself we're going to need an orange bed blaze rod lava bucket fire coral blaze powder and magma block more supplies than any of them all so far lay them out in this fashion and you get yourself preston's 
mansion and you can even see the fire logo on the side of the mansion there let's pull this thing down into our inventory i am so eager for this guys let's run over to the field over here and let's place preston's mansion right in the center of all of the other mansions look at that logo preston's mansion i hope this thing is so sweet for you guys and if it's not then blame preston launch it run away run away run away to the glass and oh my word honestly perfect placement in the very center running right to the entrance over here we can get in with one click and boom this whole mansion is entirely preston themed we got our magma blocks throughout red orange and yellow for the fire logo of course running over anything in the chest over here nothing in that chest but the stairs are right around the outside now before we go upstairs to the second level we have got the kitchen with the orange countertop over here we could craft in those furnaces i'm sure we won't even need to actually fuel them because we've got lava throughout the whole house with the magma blocks and all the red and all the orange everything is already fueled already if we go out to the left side of the house here though we can climb up to the top on the second floor oh this thing guys i'm getting warm just being inside all right i gotta hurry up because i don't know how much longer i'm gonna be able to last inside this thing huge bookshelf that's how he's so smart that's how he's so smart oh my i knew that guy reads i knew that guy reads over here we've got a beautiful master bedroom i gotta say let's go ahead and just set the respawn point because i'm gonna spawn inside preston's house in the future preston i think i decided to take over your house and also i kind of blend in with your bedroom outside we have got the master suite veranda though or in more simple terms the balcony we can look up at the treehouse that killed us we'll be taking that down shortly here the glass mansion the emerald mansion behind us on this side we have the redstone mansion and the water mansion and the cave mansion is hidden off to the edge over there that looked kind of stupid new one two three four you can't get me guys let me know in the comment section which mansion is your favorite of them all don't say preston because preston's mansion has now become my mansion but everything else is on limits so choose whatever else you want and also click that like button and subscribe if you haven't already